Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses, Friday the 14th. Before we jump in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Cottage, it was free, so Bob drunk. How much rent is he charging you? Nothing. He's letting us have it for free? Yeah, all for gratis. Oh no, come on, Dill, there's got to be something behind this. Yeah. You, you know it's so, you know it is something. You know it's something. And Dale, Dale is finna drop the other shoe in a minute. The shoe finna fall in a minute. For free? Yeah, You're all for gratis. Oh no, come on, Dill, there's got to be something behind this. Because Boise would scalp you if Dandruff had a going rain. <laughs> <laughs> You're becoming so cynical, Rodney. He's just doing a mate a favour, ain't he, eh? Uh, wait a minute, you met him in Mario's? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Great day, come on, look. Clear up all this fishing gear, will you? Because I want to pop out. Mario's is a fish restaurant. Is it? Yeah, I'll see you later. Bit of a coincidence, Dill, isn't it? You meeting him in a fish restaurant, then the next thing we're all going fishing. <laughs> no. He's like Elliot Bleeding Ness at times, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> right, Rodney, I was going to tell you when we got down here. You know, as a sort of surprise, like, oh, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, as a surprise, yeah. Well, this uh, cottage happens to be near one of the finest salmon fishing streams in England. Now, Mario has agreed to pay us £10 for every fish that we bring back. Now, Boyce and I are going to halve it, that's, that's a fiver each. So let's say that we do, what, 60 fish. That'll be 300 sods in our pocket. Now we split it three ways. That means that you and Granddad get fifty pounds each. <laughs> now weekends fishing and free digs. Now what do you reckon to that? I reckon it's illegal. You hurt me sometimes, Rodney. You really do. You don't even let me finish before you go jump into your nasty little delusions. It's lucky you ain't a judge, Rodney. You dang them before they finish the oath. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just thought that I know exactly what you thought. So we got permission, have we? No. We will have. We see the gamekeeper when we get down there and we pay him 25 quid. What, and he gives us a fishing permit? No, he shows us old in a fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's old <all> business. <laughs> no, he shows us old in a fence. No, he shows us old in a fence. <laughs> <laughs> It's called business. It's called stealing. No, it ain't, Rodney. Listen to your granddad. It's called poaching. What do we know about that, eh? Dell, he can't even poach an egg. <laughs> well, it'll be a doddle. This stream's jam-packed with salmon. We just put our hooks in and whip them out. Dell, it is illegal, it is immoral, it is unethical. There you go. All right. Me and Granddad will go on our own and we'll split the profits between us. Now, I didn't say I wouldn't come, did I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm poaching. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Left a sign up on the door. Don't <laughs> poaching. Bu -bu 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 -bu. You keep on, Rodney, and you're going to get a smack right in the ear off. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oi, 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 what's all this about? My God, it's the old bill. Someone double drop about them salmon. Shush. Look, just let me do the talking. <laughs> Good evening, officer. Now, if it's about the tax disc, I can assure you that the new one is in the post. Something to do with your road fund license, sir. Down for a bit of fishing now. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that, no. Why have you got three fishing rods tied to your roof rack? 
Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I might do, you know, just a little bit, like, you know, tiddlers. No salmon, no. <laughs> I see. You haven't given anyone a lift in the last half hour or so, have you, sir? Uh, no. Look, what is this all about, anyway? We just had word that a patient has escaped from the local hospital. Ah, oh, no. Escaped? What you got out here? National health stale eggs? <laughs> it's no ordinary hospital, sir. It's an institute for the criminally insane. Ah, no. no. See, this storm has brought a few power cables down. Like to have the entire area. It even put the institute security system out of action. So this patient took his chance and made off across the moors. He's out there somewhere now. For all I know, he could be watching us. <laughs> no, 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 it's time to turn back around. We come fishing another weekend. Not this weekend. We, we come fishing another weekend. We'll make sure we get our fishing in. But not this weekend. Can't do it. It's a no go. Abort mission. I repeat, abort mission. For all I know, he could be watching us. <laughs> What's he uh, in there for anyway? Ten years ago, this very night, he killed a party of weekend fishermen. <laughs> so, we called him the <laughs> Axe Pedro. Nah. No, I didn't know. I must have been out that night. People, be very careful. Don't pick up any hitchhikers. Don't stop for anyone, no matter what the circumstances. And if you see or hear anything suspicious, phone the police immediately. Your lives may depend on it. Right, gentlemen. Have a nice weekend, won't you? <laughs> Please, sir. Yeah, well, come on, full ahead both, Rodney. Nah. Going on, are we? Yeah, of course we are. Wow. Well, it's a crazed axe murderer out there somewhere. I know that, Rodders, but you seem to be forgetting that we're on a 300 quid earner. Don't worry, we'll be locked up safe and sound in Boise's cottage. Anyway, there's three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Going, will you, Rodney? Right, what's wrong with the lights? There's no electric, is it? Someone's been tampering with it. No, <laughs> look, the storm has blown the power cables over, remember? The whole area's blacked out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Now, I'll see if I can find some candles in this cupboard over here. thing we need is the local polizia sniffing round our keep nets. Facts. That cop has said if we see or hear anything suspicious, phone the police immediately. Our lives could depend on it. All right, then who have you seen, Hawkeye? Oh, uh, I saw... <laughs> <laughs> a movement in the trees. A movement? Of course you've seen a movement in the trees. There's a ruddy typhoid blowing out there. <laughs> Right, it comes to me. Right. Pull yourself together, all right? I'll be all right. Yeah, you'll see it. It's a typhoon. Ah, good idea, Rodney. Put the kettle on, we'll have a nice cup of tea. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. I can't believe it. 
believe they really still doing this, bro. I would have turned around so fast. It would have made your head. It's a typhoon. Ah, good idea, Rodney. Put the kettle on. We'll have a nice cup of tea. There's only an electric kettle out there. Well, use a saucepan then. <laughs> no, there ain't none. <laughs> 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 It'll come out of my way. I'll do it. Here, look, have a look in that sideboard. See if Boise's left any scotch, will you? If he hasn't, we'll have to drink mine. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Rodney. See what I mean? There ain't no ghosties or ghoulies out here. <laughs> Tell <laughs> boy, come in here quick. Rodney's found something. I think what? Monopoly. Oh, <laughs> now we are all doomed. Not the Monopoly. Hmm. What's? It's on your chopper. <laughs> <laughs> The same thing. I don't. The police ain't looking for an escape chopper murderer. <laughs> Look, just a bit. Let me ask you two something. Where are we? We're in Stuck. We're in. <laughs> no, we're, we're in the country, aren't we? Ain't country people have these things hanging about? It's part and parcel of their lives. All right, let me ask you something. Where do you think that escape bloke is right now? Probably out there on the moors. In this weather? Yeah, well, he's mad, isn't he? He might be mad, he'd have to be bloody stupid to be able to do that. Exactly. <laughs> I reckon he... he might be mad, but he had to be bloody stupid to be out there. He'd have to be bloody stupid to be out there. <laughs> exactly. I reckon he'd have holed up somewhere, found himself an empty place. Like this. Yeah, but this place ain't empty, is it? It was before we arrived, Bill. <laughs> What do you reckon? All right, then? Well, he's up there having a kid. He could be up there. Well, I shouldn't let him worry you, Grandad, because the three bears have probably eaten him by now. <laughs> <laughs> this fairy story that you're giving me. What's the matter with you two? You've been sniffing the boss dick or something? <laughs> all right, then. Well, why don't you go up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire and check it out? Ah, nah, I'm not doing that. No, I don't have to. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, would any self-respecting axe murderer pop upstairs for 40 weeks and leave his chopper in the sideboard? <laughs> <laughs> Might have a spare one. He's <laughs> <laughs> off him now, has he? I suppose he's got a little caddy that carries him around for him. And another thing, if the man of the moment is upstairs having a lie-in, who was it that you thought you saw out there in the trees? His brother? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Two <laughs> places at once. No, of course not. Oh, he's most probably halfway to London by now. Yeah, of course he's. He's most probably looking for an empty place up there. I hope we don't find our flat. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't find our flat. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just stop all this nonsense? <laughs> no, no, are we are we all agreed that we are safe and sound? Uh, well, well, yeah. Right. All right, now, can we just, you know, can we just, like, relax a bit now, you know? Right, they are. Now. <laughs> wonder where the toilet is. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's outside. I saw it as we come in. Right. Oh, Lord. I think I'll leave it till the morning. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Don't gotta be that bad. Ah, oh, Park Lane. I think that's one of my properties, Rodney. Of course it is. You own everything on the board. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Look, you've got there, Comrie Street. Granddad's got a waterworks and all that. Uh, yeah, Park Lane with one hotel, two thousand pounds. Hold on. Hey, what? According to this, it's only 1500 Yes, I know, but I put you in the penthouse suite, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> penthouse suite, do I? Oh. There you go, 1500 that's all you're getting. Like a big kid, isn't it? Yeah, well, I give up on him, Grandad. It's you? your go, Grandfather. Ah, Piccadilly. 
Right, that's mine, and I've got an hotel, so that's £1,200. £1,200 for an hotel next to a smelly old waterworks? <laughs> what? <laughs> All them sewers? I'd rather sleep in the car or look for a bed and breakfast. No, no, you, you don't understand. Bless you. No, no, no. <laughs> I've seen the rules. £1,200 is scandalous. I ain't a tourist, you know. <laughs> oh, can you ever work with him? Well, I think he's got a point, Rodney. I mean, I don't know what possessed you to build a hotel next to a sewage farm in the first place. I mean, let's face it, you know, your gaff's never going to get in a Michelin Guide, is he, eh? <laughs> but the point of the... <laughs> Stupid <laughs> bloody gun! <laughs> 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 That's charming, that is, isn't it, eh? Just cos you're losing. Oh, yeah. shut up! You want to learn to grow up a bit, my son? I didn't want to play this stupid bloody game in the first place. Yeah, right, yeah. Granddad, I think he's okay on it. Yeah. Granddad cheat down here. I, I don't blame Rodney for getting upset. I don't blame him. <laughs> they cheating, my boy. They cheating on him. Game in the first place. Yeah, right, yeah. Granddad, I think he's okay on it. Yeah. There's any money down there, it's mine, right? <laughs> oh, there's a car. There's a top hat. There's a top hat. Oh, there's a car. There you go. Oh, there's a car. Oh, no. Oh, no. with you. Phil, a man at the window. <laughs> you what? There is a man at the window. He ain't got back in a shabby leather, has he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious, Phil. There is somebody at the window. <laughs> all right, Roddy, all right. Relax, just take it easy, all right? I'll... Can't take it easy. Don't take Can't it take it easy. There's somebody <laughs> there to kill you. Nice <laughs> 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 right, so, walk. There's nothing there, Rodney. Look, there's no one out there. He was there, Del, I swear to you. My face was only inches from that glass. What did he look like? Horrible. He had these evil eyes and this grotesque, evil face. Maybe it was a reflection. <laughs> I swear to God, I was just cl... <clears throat> what do you mean, a reflection? <laughs> I don't know what I mean is that your imagination sometimes plays games with you, you know. It tricks you into believing that you saw something that isn't really there. Dill, I saw the rain running down his forehead. I saw the blood vessels in the whites of his eyes. I saw the hairs coming out of his nostrils. <laughs> you might have been the shadows in the trees, Rob. Oh, dear God! Ah, oh, no. Is anyone there? I think there's someone at the door. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> probably just the shadows. <laughs> shadows? Until they start singing summer holidays, we'll expect the worst. <laughs> Oh, thank God for that. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's the chief of security of the hospital. Says who? Only really just this minute. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anybody. <laughs> you, get ready. <laughs> leaving you standing out there, but we can't be too sure, can you? You know, we thought you might be in a double glazing salesman. What? Oh, yes. Well, if you'd like to see some identification, there's everything there from my driver's license to my blood donors. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's all right, that's all right. Rodney, fix the uh, chief a drink, will you? 
So, you haven't caught him yet, then? Unfortunately, no. We've extended the search up to this area now. We have the entire police forces of three counties out looking for him. I was Dang. passing, saw a light. What exactly are you gentlemen doing here? Oh, we're on a fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, don't suppose you've seen anything? Well, other than the face at the window, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, Rodney here reckoned he saw a face at the window and I don't know whether to believe him or not. Oh, I saw him, Dill. I was only sort of like three inches away from him. Uh, could you describe him for me? Yeah, of course I could. He was, he was about um, 50. Yeah. He had this gaunt, hungered expression, you know, and his eyes were like wild animals. Yeah, and he got, what, he got air out of his nostrils? Oh, that. yeah, there was, there was all that. You're quite certain it wasn't a reflection. <laughs> it was not a reflection. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but at times like these, people's imaginations run amok. Why, we've had 200 sightings this evening alone. Uh, what was the color of his hair? What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On his oh, hair. Oh, uh, gray. Ah, sounds like my man. What exactly did this happen? Well, just now, a minute or so before you arrived. Hmm. He must have seen me. You reckon he's still out there, Oh, no, he'd be long gone by now. It's the uniform, you see. He's terrified of people in authority. Well, after ten years in an institution, who wouldn't be? Yeah, well, yeah. I feel sorry for the poor little cock. <laughs> Chief, do you mind if I asked you something? What's that? Well, is it safe for me to go to the car seat? <laughs> I mean, it's outside. Oh, you're perfectly safe. You'd be a long way away by now. Oh, good. Right, that's all right. Chief said, go on, there's no need to worry. He's such a warrior. Rodney's so childish, bro. <laughs> oh, I thought he was like a deal out. He was just worried. He's scared. He don't want the, 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 the killer to come in. He had to lock everything. He's such a warrior. <laughs> Frightened at all? Me? No. No. Because, uh, you see, in the past I have done work for the mentally disturbed. He went out selling flags once, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, I can actually sympathise with this guy's problems. Sympathise? But he's a psycho. Have you any idea what a psycho, as you so eloquently put it, is? Of course I have. He's the keys of what dresses up in his mother's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> out of his hand and I cracked him good and hard on the jaw so obviously he went down right then I tied him up good and tight and we bundled him in the back of the van well good work uh, lad you say you caught him single-handed yeah <laughs> <laughs> well um no uh, there was my brother back at the cottage he, he helped a bit you're too modest Rodney <laughs> medal in this well right get ready lads this one could be a handful. Is this some kind of joke? What do you mean? This is no escape lunatic. This is Tom Witten, the gamekeeper. And you shouldn't have gagged him like that. He suffers from asthma. Dang! <laughs> Wait, now, hold on a minute. The chief of security from the institution itself said it was him. What chief of security? Ah, oh, dang. Boxer. 
I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's back at the cottage with Dell. Chief Robson is not at the cottage, he's at the hospital. The escape man hit him on the head, <laughs> then stole his uniform and his identity papers. God <laughs> day. Well, I still reckon we should have gone with him. Oh, no, it was imperative. I made out my report immediately. And, after all, I needed you here with me. You were the one that recaptured him. Well, yes, I am, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what do you say we have a nice little drink to celebrate, eh? <laughs> well, the old river's clearing up nicely. Look at that, it's full moon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh there you go, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, Chief. <laughs> you ain't gonna get Dale. You, I'm telling you right now, Axilla, you ain't gonna get my boy Dale. He ain't gonna fall for it. Oh, there you go, Chief. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Fall coughing to save his life. Yes, hello. Oh, hello, Rodders. Did you get there all right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's what? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> the chief's just standing there, you know. Examining his axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, well. You'll hurry back, won't you? <laughs> all right, goodbye. <laughs> no, I just phoned up now. Tell us he got there all right. Good. Mm. Do you like fish? What? Do you like fish? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit of salt and vinegar, they're lovely. <laughs> I only like living. Fish that swim in the rivers, the seas. I don't like people that kill them. No, 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 I don't, I don't like that sort myself. I... But I saw fishing rods on your van. No, 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 they didn't belong to me. They belong to my brother and my granddad. I mean, I keep telling them, I beg them not to hurt the poor little fishies. I mean, huh? I only come down here for the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gift of the gab. Yes! You? Oh, yes. So do I. It's terrific, isn't it? <laughs> Shall we play? Well, snooker? Yes! Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, I I'll tell you what, I'll just pop out to the shed at the bottom of the garden, because I think I remember seeing a snooker table in there. All right. No need. We'll use this one. I mean, what, this one here, you mean? Yes. Yeah, 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 okay. Good. <laughs> Thank God for that. Is it a police helicopter? No, you're all right. It's Barrett's. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say it's parents? Did he say parents or Barrett? It's Barrett's. Barrett's. I don't know what Barrett's is. Why don't I put that somewhere safe? Because you won't be able to hold your cue properly with that in your hand, will you? Now, I suppose you're right. Yeah, of course I am. You know it makes sense. <laughs> Which cue would you like? Exactly what you mean. <laughs> Losers are anonymous. No one wants to challenge a loser. There's something comforting in defeat. I really like losing. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, well, what do you say we make this game a little more interesting? <laughs> if we play for a tenner a frame? <laughs> oh, all right. I've got a feeling that this weekend there's not going to be a total loss after all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Got a chalk. <laughs> Oh my Jesus. Hey, hey, there go hustle any and everybody. He'll hustle any and everybody. That's how we got. You guys got a very video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy DDM. Out.